Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be solving fourth problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 140. Pause the video, read the question, then I'll explain. Okay, cool. So what question is saying that question is saying that we have an undirected tree and with each no and how it is represented, it is represented using a vector edges uh, where edges of i will contain two elements that is a i b i indicating that there will be edge between a a i and b i. Okay. Now there is a values array which will contain the value of the ith node that is value of i will contain the node of value of the node ith okay or the value associated with ith node now what mean uh, now there's a different term called valid split what is a valid split valid split is such a split of the tree is that for of a entire tree we have to split it such that each subtree the sum of each subtree and sum means the sum of values node in that subtree so the sum of values of node in that particular subtree should be divisible by k okay so what we need to return is we need to return maximum number of components in any valid split okay so i'll just like explain once again what question is saying so let's say we have subtree like this so what the question is saying that and we'll have one variable k and there will be one values array okay values array so now what it is saying that right now it is just one component right there is one component or one connected component and it is also given that the total sum the total sum of all the nodes all the nodes sum just just one thing uh to find out if i'm saying total sum that is sum of the values at those particular nodes okay so if the total sum is divisible by k and yeah there is this is given that the total sum total sum is divisible by k okay so what we have to do is we have to return let's say now um, say that now we have to split this tree okay let's say we split something like this so what the question says is let's say if we are splitting something like this or well, let's connect it here and remove this edge okay and remove this edge then we'll have something like this uh, or let's say remove this edge okay then we will have something like this and yeah so what i am doing is i am removing this edge okay and this edge and this edge so we have now this many subtrees one is this one is this one is this and one is this now the only constraint to a split is or what the valid split will be that the sum of values of all the nodes in this component in this component should be divisible by k same goes for this one and same goes for this one so we need to return it what will be the maximum number of subtrees we can form such that the sum of values of all the nodes in each subtree should be divisible by k that's basically what the question is now we already know that what we already know that the total sum is divisible by k okay so if we take an entire tree okay let's say if we take an entire tree something like this okay and something like this let's say so that we know that we can take this entire tree okay now let's say let's say if we break this let's say there's one valid split such that if even if we break this then also if this sum is valid sum is valid in the sense key if we take this subtree this subtree the sum of all the nodes the values of all the nodes is divisible by k that means we already know that the total sum was divisible by k okay for this total subtree wait i'll just change the color okay so we know that the sum of what we know that the sum of the entire sum the entire sum ps was divisible by k okay okay equal equals to zero and this new subtree we have let's say sum one it is also divisible by k that means this remaining portion the sum of this remaining portion must be divisible by k okay listen carefully what i am saying so the total sum was ts and the sum of this subtree is s1 we know already know that the ts was divisible by k and if s1 is divisible by k s1 is the sum of the subtree if s1 is divisible by k that means that that means the remaining sum like this subarray the remaining sum of this subarray will be what will be that 
that will be TS minus S1. Then we know that TS is divisible, S1 is also divisible. So the difference will also be divisible by K. Okay, am I clear? So <laughs> now seeing here, we can see what our solution will look like. So if we'll just start from the beginning, just sorry, beginning in the sense, lift node. So can we just break this edge and take this lift? When we can take this if the sum is divisible by k. If not, that means it will be attached to its parent. Okay, now we'll come to its parent. So let me just draw some another figure. So let's say it's one of the subtree which has three children. Okay. So and also let's keep some values. Oh sorry, value will be a bit uh, hefty over here. So let's leave it. So let's say it has value s1, it has value s2, it has value s3 and it has value s4 or it's better to write as b, b1, b2, b3 and v4. Okay. Now what I'm saying is if b1 or let me reach, uh, reframe that, let's say there will be one subtree just containing of this node. So what will be its sum? That will be equal to v1, right? So s1 we have equal to v1. If, if v1 modulo to our s1 modulo k s1 modulo k equal equal to 0 then by the definition we already see that the remaining sum will be also be divisible by k okay so what we can do is we can simply break this and we can check for this particular subtree if it is not if it is not divisible by k or the sum of this subtree is not divisible by k that means we can't delete this h right okay just uh, listen carefully what i am saying is if the sum of this particular subtree is divisible by k that means we can break it and the remaining sum will also be a factor of k or that will be divisible by k okay but if it is not divisible by k that means we cannot break this link that means we cannot break this link we cannot break this link okay we cannot break this link then we have to consider whatever the sum we have till here on for this node as well so similarly we'll check for this subtree this subtree if at some place if at some place let's say it was divisible by k or modulo k equal equal to 0 that means we have to pass nothing and we can simply return 0 from here else whatever the value we have we will pass to its parent so what the solution became look like so we will start from the root okay we will start from the root okay and what we will do we will just check if the sum is divisible by k will yeah we'll check some from the leaf so let's say if we are following the dfs so we'll just go to the child from here to here and then for this we'll check if the sum is divisible by k then it's all good we'll have one valid split over here else what we'll have to do we'll have to return the sum yeah and yeah if it's a valid split then we'll have to return zero and if not then we'll have to return whatever the sum we have over here okay similarly from this sub child or sub tree and once we are here we'll check same for this and then we will return the according value okay hopefully the solution would be clear let me just write some pseudo code for this so how we can do is so let's say we run a dfs for particular node and okay so let's say for particular node and particular parent rest i'm assuming that you have already passed okay adjacent list and values so what i am saying is let's say int current sum so if we are at this particular node so int current sum what we can say that will be equal to values of node right that will be equal to values of node okay that will be values of equal to node or uh, sorry that will be equal to values of whatever at that node okay now we will just iterate over all the child so for all the child of stored in let's say adjacency list of node what we can do is we can simply just add all the values returned from this child function or the dfs call of child so for this child we'll pass node okay and we can add simply current plus equals to and we will also check here if child is not equal to parent then only we'll make this call because we don't want to repeat the visited ages right and if after this loop we'll check if current is equal equal to sorry current modulo k equal equal to zero that means it's our valid split 
uh, split. So we'll, we can have one global variable answer. So whenever we find a valid split, we can simply make answer plus plus. And also this current sum will be returning it. So we can make simply current equals to zero or else we will leave it as a leave as it is. And we can simply return current. So basically this will DFS function look like. I hope you can easily make this adjacency list and this values node is already given. We can simply pass it over here. So I hope the explanation will be clear. I'll be attaching the exact code in the description. Please let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section. Okay. Thank you guys.